at the end of the day, we need police officers all over the city. So why not invest in that money on something that we can utilize in many, many ways? Code enforcement officers, we need that too. So I think that's, that's what we need to concentrate. Um, I, I did not hear anything about the ratio between police officers and clubs in terms of based on patrons. Do you have anything on that? Yes. Uh, so that actually was one of my specific questions of the consultant is, what is, what's the rubric? What's the right metric, if you will, uh, between patrons and effectively the right amount of security? Mm -hmm. uh, and basically his resounding response almost before I could get, get the words out of my mouth was, hold on. We don't want another tragedy like what we had at Paul's. Uh, and if an officer is busy dealing with a patron for whatever reason, we want to make sure that there's another officer keeping an eye on what else is going on around there. So I think we should establish some sort of matrix or some sort of uh, legislation or something where we would have at least a minimum of X amount of police officers depending on the amount of patrons that you receive at your establishment. Sure, we can continue to look at that component. The other, the other challenge, I don't know, I saw Dave kind of come up behind me. Uh, did you want to talk about the number in that context? Commissioner, uh, um, I, I understand what you're saying. And um, Kyle, right now we don't have the legal position to make them have a, a certain number of officers. You know, it, the tragedy at Pulse, two officers, three officers, I'm not sure that would have prevented that was a, that was a. I respectfully uh, disagree with that opinion because I believe had we had a, more than one police officer there, maybe the outcome would have not been as grave as it was. But then again, I'm the Monday morning quarterback in this. This is what it is. But what I do believe or I expected was to, as part of this consensus or this uh, study that you guys are doing, is to get some feedback from the community. So then, and I understand we cannot develop a, a matrix immediately, but at least we can start thinking about how we're going to legislate. And if we have to go to Tallahassee, I think this is, this is our chance to put something, you know, uh, boots on the ground and, and do something that would benefit the whole state for that matter. And the whole nation eventually, I mean, if we, when we look at tragedies like this, it should be a great teaching lesson for us. Uh, I was expecting something along those lines in terms of uh, uh, the ratio between patrons and, and law enforcement officers. We, we did discuss it and the input from our stakeholders was they did not want to be further regulated. They did not want to be a permit, an after hours permit. They did not want to be told they have to spend more money on a police officer. They, and, and we did explore it. It was one of the things we looked at. That really scares me. We need to do something about that.